Hi, everyone. Welcome to our next stage of manifestation. It is a cold, rainy day here in Maine, and there's Silver Lake behind me. Um, I want to talk to you today about different tools for manifestation. So uh, we've already done the pendulum, is, which I find very, very helpful. And again, using tools for manifestation is not necessary. It, it's not like um, a specific formula. It just helps you get out of yourself, out of your head, and into the connection with the manifesting. And it gives you a, a partner to help. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we just need a helping hand, even if the helping hand is a pendulum or a bit of spoon bending. You see, here's a, an antique silver, sterling silver spoon that I curled up. Here's a soup spoon that and a fork that I got all <laughs> bent together. And here's a soup spoon. You see, I just kind of spiraled up the handle in on itself. There's my third eye. <laughs> my third eye is a bent spoon. And here's a fork that I had fun with. So, Manifestation with spoon bending, which we will do in a later episode, um, and I've done before. That's a lot of fun because honestly, like you use your fingers to bend this. This is some tight bending, but not really any pressure. Like I don't get any indents. I don't, you know, it, it's just very easy. So if I can make the fork do this with just my wish. It unblocks me to know that while I'm doing this, I'm also going to wish for this and wish for that and wish for whatever and put it out there. Now, remember, just like with the spoon bending, um, I have to put some action into it. I have to put my hands into it. But... Um, it's very little effort, and the effort is towards working with the manifestation of redesigning the spoon or the fork or whatever. We've done it with rebar, which, as you know, is pretty hefty. Done it with massive serving spoons. Um, you know, uh, it, it doesn't matter how thick or heavy it is because you are inviting this to change to grow, to evolve with you. So um, I'm just mentioning that because like my ego in no way is connected to the shape of this antique spoon, all right? And I, uh, <laughs> I cannot, with all my force, I cannot bend it now. But when I bent it before, I invited the spoon to become very soft and malleable, and then it just twisted in my hands with little to no effort. And that right there is, in my mind, the very point of manifesting, that you are releasing all ego, all expectations, all emotions, all thoughts of worthiness, um, and you are just saying, this is what I would like to happen. And you invite reality to become soft and malleable, change its shape, and join you with this vision. And then put in a little effort, but that effort is guided and filled with the energy. Like you can feel you're in the groove, you're in that manifestation groove, you know. And so sometimes like I will put it to my guides. I'm like, you know what? I know you say money doesn't exist, but I got some bills to pay. I need some money. And then they will say to me, here's something we want you to offer. And I'll go, okay. And I'll type it up. And like, they're with me 
on what to write. And I can feel their energy and the flow and I'll type it up and I'll put it out on social media. And what will come back is the number of people I need to fulfill the wish of whatever money. I mean, honestly, manifesting money is like a big part of what we all are always asking for. Uh, money, people to love me, people I can love, uh, a vacation, a house. These are the most popular things that that we manifest. Um, and and that's okay. I mean, I've manifested money. I've manifested people to come into my life. I've manifested my dream house. <laughs> and and I just I work with the process. For me, there's always a little action to go along with the uh, a little activity. Now, for some people, they can hold up a fork and with their mind looking at it, it will just go. Wee! Those people have practiced a lot more than I have, and they've put in the work, but they put in the work to develop the skill. Um, I'll admit, once I got to the point where it's fun for me and any more effort would not be fun, I'm like, okay, this is good enough. I am a spoon bender. I am not a divine master spoon bender, but I have a lot of fun. Um, if you want to learn how, there are a bunch of spoon bending videos on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe while you're there. I also have on my website, bonitawoods.org, an entire free program. You have to join the email list to have access to all the free programs. But once you're in there, you can get all the free classes, including spoon bending, telekinesis, um, uh, what else? Uh, manifestation. I have a manifestation program that is not free, but half of it is free stuff. And so the program itself is not free, but the handouts and the added bonus videos are free. So you can access those. Um, and if you want to learn more, like do the intense manifestation course, you know, Sure, go ahead. It's not that expensive. Um, also, one of my favorite things to scry with or to manifest with, a crystal ball. And also at bonitawoods.org, I have an entire free series on working with crystal balls and pendulums and the like. Um, so you can go in there and get that. This is one of my favorite crystal balls. It has little elephants in it. And it plays the song, The Candy Man. <laughs> oh no, Everyone is Beautiful. It plays the song, Everyone is Beautiful. And, um, they have the same opening beat, so it always gets me by surprise. But everyone, everything is beautiful. And I have this beautiful orb. It's a snow globe with glitter and elephants. And I know some of you are going to say, but the whole point of a crystal ball is that it's completely empty. Like... That is the point of this, my empty crystal ball. But this one here with the elephants, first of all, it was made by an amazing artist, Christina Balls. Oh no, Crystal Balls. I don't even know her name, but oh my God, she's absolutely amazing, absolutely lovely. And the point of a crystal ball is when you look at it, you sort of let your mind, your vision, your emotions get lost in it. And it's almost like you and this merge in a dream state. So the empty crystal ball can be great, but also this kind of fun one here is great because it helps me space out. I look at it and I just space out. 
Uh, I'll do the same with a big piece of clear quartz crystal. I'll do the same with a bowl of water or a cup of tea, <laughs> especially on a chilly day. Or I'll just go down to the pond, the lake behind me, Silver Lake. I'll just go down there and sit and just like stare at the lake and space out and visions will rise up for me. Your crystal ball is whatever allows you at this moment to space out and let the messages, the visions rise up. That's it for today. Tomorrow, we are going to actually do some crystal ball scrying. So uh, if you have a bowl of water or a crystal or, you know, uh, whatever, feel welcome to bring one along. If you don't have any of that, a clear plastic cup, fill it like halfway with water. That will work also. I look forward to visioning with you. Bye.